first of all guys i should tell you i'm one of those people who never wanted to leave home like never like if you told me oh you know what maybe you'll be living in canada in like five years time i'll tell you hell to the no hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is vc uh for those of you who are new here uh, I am a Ugandan based in Canada. I've been a uh, permanent resident of Canada now for over a year. Um, so much as it's little time, I have a few tips for you if you want to relocate to another country because these tips actually are, you can apply them for any other country that you want to relocate to like USA, Australia, well, I say that the many opportunities, um, Europe, you know, any any continent that you want to go to and yeah you may want to go to south africa or you want you may want to move to uganda like you know anything so i just have a few tips for you i just first i'll go into my personal story of how i decided to move to canada and the process i had to go through and today we're not going to go through different processes we'll do that in another video uh, which i'll be because it's going to be like a series so if you want you can subscribe and just look out for the content relating to immigration i have different content i have beauty i have travel i have immigration and I, and then i have career you know career tips career advice career lifestyle edc so if you want to keep on watching please subscribe and you can also share the video and also comment and let me know what exactly do you want me to tell you about in my next video and i'll be addressing that so today we're going to talk about my story of how i moved to canada and the tips plus what you need to know before you decide to relocate to any other country before you relocate to any mainly canada of course because that's what i am familiar with but like i said if the shoe fits get tips and apply them so how did it start <laughs> first of all guys i should tell you i'm one of those people who never wanted to leave home like never like if you told me oh you know what maybe you'll be living in canada in like five years time i'll tell you hell to the no because honestly i am that kind of person who just likes like i like travel I, would, I like traveling to the world like different parts of the world and a week two weeks i'm good a month mm -hmm. i start missing mommy <laughs> i start missing my food i start missing my toke <laughs> i start missing everything like at home honestly so i would be that kind of person like someone would tell me oh you're going to relocate here and i'll be like no it, it's impossible like for me and I remember when I just met uh, Lloyd, my husband, he was, he was, he was like, okay, just to clear things out, because I know so many people keep asking, you call him your husband, you call him your husband. Uh, we're actually engaged to be married. Traditionally, we already started our traditional, you know, uh, first step of our traditional wedding. And we're in the process of getting everything settled. But in Canada, we're basically almost married because we considered married almost so that's why i always see my husband and i feel good calling him that uh to each their own don't judge me so when i met lloyd many of you call him simba so because i call him simba <laughs> so when i met my lion <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay so when i met simba i remember my friends telling me yeah you have a like you've got a, a white man that means you're not going to be living in uganda anymore and i'll be like excuse me i am not going anywhere because trust me every like i had so many opportunities at home my dance career was was on fire like my gigs my side gigs i had so many nice gigs on the side my friends are around do you understand so if you're in that comfort zone you're not going to move like you, do, you don't want to move because that is where the life is honestly and I can't believe that we're here today so uh sometime sometime actually i never ever imagined moving here it was only after like my husband got an opportunity to come to to come back to canada to take over a certain company 
and that's how we actually moved back they said okay we can transport you everything plus your wife and everything blah 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 and that is how i said yeah i think we can go for that i and that was all in i think we can go for that and i remember one of the things that really pushed me to go was the insecurity at home not in my family but at home like because we had already moved in together and i remember every night thieves would come and knock at our door like and oh my god i was so scared because they they see this i people see color all the time so they will see this muzungu or what we call muzungu uh that means white man and they will associate that with money even when there is no money do you understand what i'm saying so every night we, we, we would be like i sleep very light so i would hear like those thieves come in and everything and i was tired i was just like oh my god i cannot be here anymore i need to sleep and trust me i use not to sleep honestly that is one of the things that pushed me to be like you know what i just need to get away from this place and have peace of mind so when he said yeah let's go to canada as I, I said okay so at that time i was actually i had a job i was working with uh, one of the big four accounting firms in the world and i remember uh i i said you know what i either resign or i take a break and just see how canada pans out to be and what happened is i took i i, I ended up resigning that's what matters so i moved to canada and when we moved to canada we first went deep in those remote areas now when you come from a vibrant city a vibrant vibrant city like kampala like a city that's is always on the move like you, you're always on the move like there's always a gig here there's always a gig there there's like border borders you can grab a motorcycle anywhere like you can move how you want like even the law itself is not that straight in uganda you get you can get away with so many things and when i moved to canada the first place we moved to was in newfoundland and oh my god oh my god i found that to be beyond a village not like our normal villages back in africa but what i mean it was so remote so so remote and in my mind i was just like I'm just here to support my husband. I'm just here to support my husband. I'm just here to support my husband. Little did I know that also him, he, was, he wasn't feeling that place that much, you know? So I was just like, oh my God, I cannot survive here. Like I personally, I am a person who survives in a, who thrives in a fast environment. Like, you know, like if, if something, if, if, if something is too quiet, too slow, too what, I sleep off, honestly so i was just like oh my god what are we going to do and i couldn't move anywhere it was that remote that he had to if if someone doesn't pick me up from home i can't move anywhere do you understand like somewhere deep remote some <laughs> I, I can't even go into those details so before you move to a country you need to know where exactly you're moving and if you're willing to settle first of all that also gave me a chance to actually start over yeah and long story short uh, the opportunity that was presented to my husband didn't actually work out because he didn't like it and we decided we either moved back to Uganda after, that was uh, after like three months of being in Canada we decided we either moved back to Uganda or we moved to Canada like just like that we moved to Canada and and I remember saying what are we what are we going to do so my husband said he, he doesn't like like so many crowded places like he, he doesn't like very crowded places like so which city was more convenient and toronto was out of the picture because it was he, he said oh toronto has so many people i've never been to toronto but i take his word for it and i know that toronto has like a black vibrant culture there i mean i would thrive there honestly <laughs> but anyway he said i like i've ever been to vancouver and i like vancouver and he had never actually like stayed in vancouver itself so we're both going to ex experience a city that is new together 
for the very first time. So we said, okay, let's book tickets to, to Vancouver. And these are not tickets, guys, like Canada is big. So if you're moving to Canada, you need to know where exactly you're going. Like it's almost like moving from another continent to another continent. Seriously, where we're moving from to Vancouver. So it's like from the East Coast all the way to the West Coast. Yeah, and then we moved to Vancouver and we just exp we just knew that this was going to be home it's such a beautiful city british columbia in general it's such a beautiful city and from there onwards as they say the rest is history i'll not be going through everything that so i was there on a visitor's visa so a visitor's visa when you have a visitor's visa in most countries it usually uh, you're only supposed to stay in the country for like six months like at a time so if I have six months, I need when the six months are over, I need to make sure that I get out of that country and then probably re-enter. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like be readmitted into the country and then I can count another six months. So that actually happens for the USA. I know for a fact that in USA, whether they give you two years um, visa as a visitor, you're supposed to move out every six months and same with canada canada they give you their visa their, their visitors visas they give you a visitors visa for 10 years but that doesn't mean that when you go to canada you stay there for 10 years and like i said i'm legit legit i didn't want to do any kakuyege uh what is it called uh any illegal stuff so i needed to make sure that by the time i move to canada everything is set for me so uh, as, as a visitor's vi uh, um, I had a visitor's visa and then I started working on my permanent residency so that I could stay permanently so I will go through that process in, in another video but for now I need to switch to you to your needs um, what you need to know before you actually move to a different country 